Hello everyone, today I'd like to show you how to update your BL Heli 32 ESCs to the latest firmware version. So the first thing I want to say before you get started is if you're happy with the way your drone's flying and everything's working well, don't bother updating the firmware because you just think you need to update to the latest and greatest. If you're happy with the way it's flying and there's nothing wrong with it, don't if it's not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> like I said in my previous video about BL Heli 32. Now, as far as I know, I have not heard of any people having problems with this latest firmware update, but you never know. If you're happy with the way it is, just leave it. And the second thing, of course, is always when you're working on your drone, take the props off. You don't want any surprises. And if you're updating firmware on the ESCs, you need to have a battery connected. If you've got your battery connected, there's always a chance something could go wrong and it, the motors could spin up and you could get hurt. So make sure you take the props off first. All right, so now that we've got some of that out of the way, let's get started. And the first thing you need to do is go download the latest version of the BL Heli 32 application. All right, so I'm gonna make sure to put a link to this in the description of the video, but uh, there's a Google Drive where you can go download all the latest versions of BL Heli. And in my case, I'm running on a Mac, so I'm gonna download this Mac OS version here. If you're running Linux, or Windows, you'd want to you'd want to download this one if you're on Windows, download this one if you're on Linux. And now remember, this is only for BL Heli 32 ESCs, not for uh, BL Heli S or any of the other ESCs. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say go download this BL Heli 32. And yeah, I know you can't scan for viruses. Download it anyway. And I'm going to save that to a folder on my computer. And here is my downloads folder going to extract the zip file. It's going to make a DMG file. And I'm going to open that up. And here's the BL Heli 32 app and it wants me to copy it into my applications folder. Okay, so we'll go to my applications folder and here's the new version of BL Heli Suite. And if I double click on that, it'll complain that it can't be opened because it's from a developer that can't be verified. Okay. I'm going to right click and say open and now it's going to ask me to open it anyway and that's what i'm going to do oh and it wants to access my documents folder and i guess that's all right i'm going to trust it not to do anything nefarious okay so here is the bl heli 32 suite and at this point you're ready to connect your drone to your computer so you're going to want to connect the you uh probably connect the battery first that's fine and you can hear my ESCs beeping. And then I'm gonna connect the USB port to my flight controller. So the way this all works is that the flight controller passes the information on and connects your computer into the ESC. And that's how you kind of get connected to it. So that's why you need it all wired up and basically working in a functional drone before you can make this update happen easily anyway. Okay, now down here where it shows you the port, um, there's a new port called this USB modem on a Mac on Windows is probably a different COM port that came up. You have to make sure you select the one that you know you've plugged it into and tell it to connect. All right, now I can see that I've been connected. And just for fun, let's check my ESCs. And it sees that I've got a four in one ESC. It's got four ESCs here. I have a Teco 32 and I'm currently running version 32.7 and everything checks out and looks good here. And here are all the settings that I have for how mine is currently running. And you don't really need to worry about that if you're happy with the way it is, great. And just for fun, you might wanna click this save screenshot just in case anything gets erased when you're updating the firmware. But I am ready at the point where I'm gonna flash the latest firmware to these ESCs. So click flash BL Heli, it's gonna detect my ESC model, and I want to update to the latest version, which is 32.8, and I'm going to hit OK. Do you want to flash your target ESC1 to this version? Yes, yes I do. Do you want to write current settings to ESC1? Yes. You've successfully flashed this ESC. Always with my propellers. Yep, absolutely. 
and now it's going to ask me to do the same thing to ESC number two. And I want to go ahead and continue. Yes. So of course we'll continue on doing this for all four of the ESCs. You do exactly the same thing for each of them. All right, so now I'm done and it's double checked and I can see 32.8 has been written to all four of my ESCs. And if we go here, I can do look at an, the overview and my fonts don't quite fit. <laughs> All right, and you can see that I've got motor directions are reversed on two of them, normal on the others two, and everything looks good. So as far as I can tell, it must have saved all my configuration correctly to the ESCs. But if you have any concerns about that, I definitely consider going into beta flight and double checking that all your motors are spinning the correct direction and uh, do a, a little test fire up in afterwards. And then maybe I'll, I'll go outside, put the props on and just do a quick test hover to make sure everything is still good. So one of the cool new features in this version of BL Heli 32 in the 0.8 version, I guess you'd call it, is that it has automatic PWM frequency scaling. So I'm pretty sure to do that, what you want to do is you want to set what the lowest frequency range is you want here and what the highest frequency range is here. And so I had mine set to 48 kilohertz, so I knew I was happy with how that worked. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose the lowest setting. I'm going to go, I think I want it to be at from 24 to 48. And we'll call that good. Um, and I want, once I've made that change here, I want to write the setup. And it wrote that to all four ESCs. All right. Now at this point, I think I'm ready to go outside and give it a test flight. Okay, so now that I've updated the firmware on the ESCs, I'm gonna just take it out front really quick and do a line of sight hover test. If it hovers, I'll just fly around a little bit and if all that looks good, then I'm ready to actually take it out flying. All right, it hovers, yay. That means everything's at least halfway decent. And as soon as my batteries are done charging, I can go out and uh, go to a better spot to go flying and test out this new ESC firmware. All right, so I'm out here at what should be a relatively safe place to test out this new firmware. There's no water or lakes or anything like that to accidentally land in or really tall grass. So let's give it a shot and see how it works.
All right, well, that was my first quick flight with the BLHeli 32.8 version firmware on these ESCs. And as far as I can tell, it flew just fine. And I'm not super picky when it comes to some of this stuff. So as long as it flies decent, I don't think I'll notice. And as far as I can tell, it flew just fine. So go ahead and update your firmware if you want to give it a shot. Of course, every time I try to talk, there's a noisy truck coming by. How long do I have to wait before I can't hear it anymore? Next time I want to talk to the camera, I have to find a place with less car traffic. There is just constant back and forth right there. Oh.